Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. I'm going to tell you how I got over six figures of passive income. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get high levels of passive income. If this is the first time here, what I want you to do is go back to the beginning of the channel and to toggle the little video tab and begin watching videos from the beginning of the channel up to now so you can become financially literate. All right, so let's get into this. How did I get over $100,000 in passive income? Let me tell you the story. 2017, I was running a consulting business and I had four clients, well, yeah, four clients paying me $50,000 a month. And we were doing all types of things. It was to liberate them from Amazon and FBA and to set up real businesses. So we were working on this and I went out, rented an office, hired staff and everything. And I really forgot about my online course business. I really didn't push it. I didn't even mention it. I just had links on the YouTube channel. And after the end of the year, I made almost $200,000 in online course sales as passive income. Now, why did that happen? For, for you to get high levels of passive income, because there are many people here on YouTube who are talking about dividend stock, like you may have $60,000, $70,000 worth of dividend stock, and it might get you 300 bucks per month or $3,000 per year. That's not going to cut it when you're talking about creating money to live on. So essentially for you to get high levels of passive income, you're gonna to have to have high levels of active income. Here's where many people get it twisted because I was still doing my YouTube channel and I was putting out content and I was putting out videos that this brought more people into my funnel and more people bought my courses. I know that you want to get a lot of passive income so you don't have to work, so you can do what you want to do, is you can hang out with Big Booty Betty and Bamboo. But the reality is for you to get high levels of passive income, you're going to have to build something that has high levels of active income. And this is what happened to me. Whenever my passive income is really, really high, my active income is way higher. That year, I did about $2.4 million and my passive income was almost 200,000. So how do you begin to generate passive income? First of all, you gotta build something because you could go ahead and do dividend investing, dividend stock investing, but unless you get a portfolio of 1.5 million up to about 5 million, you're not really gonna make money that you can live on. And also, when you do the math on that, because let's say you have a dividend stock portfolio of 1.5 million, that's gonna pay you about $50,000 a year. Divide $50,000 a year times 1.5 million. You're looking at almost 20 years for your dividend stock portfolio to pay for itself and then to become a cash cow. So one of the things that you, you've got to look at with passive income, because everyone's promising passive income, create a website, set it and forget it. As someone who's been an internet marketer for 10 years, I can tell you that everything changes. Facebook changes, YouTube changes, Google changes, everything changes. So this whole ability to do one little thing and just set it and forget it and not have to worry about it, is very, very hard to do in this current internet environment. So for you to build stunning passive income, you're gonna to have to work to build incredible active income. Because once you build the active income, this gives you the money to buy assets that can create passive income. So what should you do? And once again, you know, this is Savage Finance, so I feel that I can be candid with you guys. If you're an average person, there is nothing out there that's going to give you generous, exceptional, passive income for cheap. Nothing. Let that go. Get that out your head. And also think, what could you build? What could you create? What could, you know, going back to the do more principle, this is where so many people get into trouble. 
They go out and they attempt to do something to get some passive income so they can do less, so they can hang out, so they can have money. That, that's just not gonna work. That's just not gonna work. So what you need to do is to reorientate your brain and get yourself acclimated to the do more principle and let all of these illusions of making a lot of money while you're on the beach, hanging out, traveling around the world. Now, there are some people who can pull this off and these people are exceptional. And this is one of the things that I like to really work on. This is the reason I'm building this channel the way I'm building it. There's videos that I wanna do, but I'm building the foundational education stuff first, the basics, before we get into the higher level stuff, because once you have an understanding of the foundational elements, then you can really ball out on the exceptional elements. I'll give you an example. How many of you guys remember the Fab Five? It was a Michigan basketball team of five, really six exceptional athletes, but they were not grounded in the fundamentals. They didn't know the rules. They were just pure, raw athletic talent. And they went against Duke, which was a fundamentally sound team. Duke did not have the physical talent that the Michigan team had. Wasn't even close, but Duke beat them because Duke was fundamentally sound. And that's how important it is to be fundamentally sound because as you build your economic house, if you build your economic house on a weak, flimsy foundation, that's gonna be as strong as your economic house can be. So one of the things that I want you to do is to get a greater understanding that passive income is real. Passive income can be built. However, what you need to do is to drastically increase your active income so this gives you the money to buy assets. Because I have a friend that has five million dividend, five million invested in a dividend investment on stock portfolio. And that gets him literally about $250,000 a year. And he did it really quickly and you know how he did it? He started a business, he sold the business, and that's how he, he literally bought this dividend stock portfolio in one year. See, the active income, the active income is gonna give you the money to develop the passive income. This whole notion of just being an average person and finding some little hack that's gonna draw up a lot of cash while you're sitting around doing nothing, Bitcoin! Um, it's just not in the cards for most people. So I want you to adopt the do more principle. I want you to build something. I want you to be a producer versus a creator. I mean, a producer versus a consumer. Producer, creator, build something, make something. Because I'm gonna do a video that's called Accelerated Income that's gonna talk about these principles because this is what happened to me. This is how I'm able to live the lifestyle that I live and have absolutely no debt. I have no car payments, I have no credit card payments. I use my credit card like a debit card as preferenced in the video. And what I want you guys to understand is you can develop passive income, but you need to build an economic vehicle that creates aggressive and high active income. And then you can get into the passive income. Like my friend, I think he's 42. He sold his company. He bought a bunch of real estate. He got his dividend stock portfolio. And now he's chilling. But when he was building his business, he was working. He was, he was, he was doing what he needed to do to make that money. He was working, you know, 80 hour, 100 hour weeks. And this is why I want to tell you active income is much better than passive income unless you can get a gang of money to invest in assets that generate a generous passive income. And that's where the key is because currently we're in this craziness. We, we have this pandemic thing going on. And I, I'm gonna tell you, for you real estate investors, look for 2021 the end of 2020 2021 real estate will be on fire sale there will be deals because one of the things is i'm looking at getting into real estate and i'm looking at the market prices have come down already and people have taken their properties off of the market and they're trying to turn them into rentals 
and you're gonna have a bunch of people who signed up for this forbearance thing, not understanding what they were getting themselves into. They should have signed up for a deferment versus forbearance, and they're gonna be in the world of house, the world of hurt, and many of those folks are gonna to have to sell their houses. And then you got all these Airbnb people. I mean, they're like literally months behind on their mortgages. Also, another thing that's gonna happen is many of these businesses that have closed, they're not gonna reopen. So that's, unemployment's gonna be kinda high for a while. So when you put all that stuff in, high unemployment, the forbearance, the Airbnb people, there are going to be some juicy, juicy deals on real estate for those who are prepared. And you should check out my video, how to buy your first house. Uh, it should be around here somewhere because I'm all about you building economic empowerment. Someone the other day asked me about velocity banking. Velocity banking is where you take out a HELOC and use the home equity in your home to pay it off, except it's the same money. And you know, I'm not gonna get into that right now. I may do a special video on that, but you're better off being a producer, a creator, and creating something and creating additional income to throw at the principal of that mortgage to get it really paid off quickly versus trading money. Essentially, velocity banking is literally just trading money because what you can do, and I understand the concept of it, is you can take a HELOC and then make a big payment from the HELOC onto your mortgage, the principal, and this principal would drastically reduce the interest you're paying because the interest is calculated on the balance of the principal. So the faster that you can reduce the principal, the faster you can pay off your house. But once again, th there's a lot of nuances to this whole thing. But I want you guys to build creators, to build stuff, to create stuff, because the whole notion of passive income and everyone that I know that has generous passive income first had high active income. So right there, there should be another video for you to watch right about here. So watch that video and I'll see you guys later.